Okay, in this lecture we're going to be going over the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Um, the sampling distribution of the sample mean is essentially a probability distribution. Um, you know, just like what we did in the previous unit, we had lots of different probability distributions. We had the uniform probability distribution, the normal, um, and we also had the discrete. Uh, this really follows more of a normal probability distribution, um, but a prob it's a probability distribution of all possible sample means of a given sample size. So you have a population of say 30 people or um, yeah 30 people and you want to take uh, sample sizes of two. It would be every single possible outcome uh, you know taking two people at a time from that 30 which we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, so there is less variation in the distribution of the sample mean than in the population distribution. And the greater the uh, sample is, or the larger the sample is, uh, the less variation there is. Um, and, uh, you know, the better uh, or more normally distributed uh, the distribution is. Um, and then the sample mean, as I previously said, uh, you know, is bell-shaped um, or approaches bell-shaped the... Uh, more or the greater the the sample is. So, for instance, Tardis Industries has seven production employees. The population. Uh, so when when I say they have seven production employees, that's the entire population of produ production employees. They might have more than seven employees, but that is the population of the production employees. Okay. So the hourly earnings of each employee are given in the table. So we're looking at this, we've got 14, 14, 16, 16, 14, 16, 18 for Joe, Sam, Sue, Bob, Jan, Art, and Ted, which is funny. Uh, yeah, they're all three letter names, there we go. So what is the population mean? You guys have done this over and over again. Uh, you sum all of the individual hourly earnings, you divide it by n, notice that that's a capital N, which means that it is a population parameter, right? Uh, which gives you 15.43. So this right here is the sampling distribution of the sampling mean for sample sizes of two. Notice uh, right here we've got you know, just Joe and Sam, we've got Joe and Sue, Joe and Bob, Joe and Jan. Um, you know, each one of these is different. And so Joe is 14, Sam is 14, and the sum is 28, the mean is 14. Okay, so you could list out every single last one of these and determine that there's 21, or you could do the combination formula. So the combination formula, we've got C, and we've got 7 and 2, so you've got 7, exclamation mark or 7 factorial over 2 factorial uh, multiplied by 7 minus 2 factorial which simplifies down to uh, 7 times or we'll do 7 factorial over uh, 2 multiplied by uh, 5 factorial uh, which once again simplifies down to 7, oops, 7 times uh, 6 divided by 2, um, which gives us 21. Okay, so I'm going to clear this out. Uh, the sampling distribution, um, to determine the mean of the sampling distribution, uh, what we're really talking about here is what is the mean of all these means? So you add up all these means together, and what is the mean of all the means? Uh, well, there's a few ways that you can do this. You can do 14 times 3, 15 times 9, 16 times 6, 17 times 3, and you add all of those sums together and you divide it by 21. Okay, uh, which if you want to do that, let's see here. We can do that in Excel. So we've got 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, let's just delete this. That's distracting. Uh, and then we've got 3, 9, 6, and 3. Um, then we do equals this times the number 
42 equals sum divided by 21, which gives you 15.4286. So then we also have the probabilities, 0 0.1429, 0 0.4285, 0.2857 and 0.1429. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could do, let's see here, equals 14 times the probability, and you do that all the way down, 15 times the probability, 16 times the probability, 17 times the probability, and equals sum of all of those. And guess what it's gonna give you? 15.4286. Um, so there's uh, several different ways that you can do this, and we've been doing this uh, over and over and over again uh, in the past uh, couple uh, units. Uh, in the first unit, we referred to it as calculated the weighting me weighted mean. In the second unit, um, we were uh, calculating uh, the probabilities or the uh, the mean of the probabilities. So, um, I just wanted to demonstrate to you that we've been doing this and we continue to do this. So, uh, sampling distribution examples. Uh, what observations can be made about the population and the sampling distribution? First of all, uh, you've got the population uh, distribution right here. And then you've got the distribution of the sample mean right here. Um, the mean of the distribution of the sample mean is 15.43, okay, which is also equal to the mean of the population. Notice we've got the mean right here, we've got the mean right here. Okay, so this uh, mu sub x bar um, is the mean of uh, the distribution. Okay, or, or mean of, uh, yeah, mean of the sample distributions. So the spread in the distribution of the sample mean is less than the spread in the population values. So right here, we've got the spread from 14 all the way up to 18. Here we've got 14 up to 17. So the range of the distributions is smaller. And the reason why is because you've only got one value at 18. Uh, so if you only have one value at 18, 18 uh, with, the, uh, with 16, uh, the mean of 18 and 16 is 17. Um, so the range is smaller. And the shape of the population uh, and the sample distribution are different. So this one right here, we've got um, a negatively, or sorry, a positively skewed distribution. This one right here, we have more of a, a normal distribution. And as the sample gets larger, uh, it'll become more normal. So that's uh, what we've got for um, this lecture, we're going to continue on with uh, the next one.